All right, so in the last episode, we set up our screen recording tool. In this episode, we're going to set up an AWS bucket and deploy to Heroku so that when we upload these recordings, they get saved into AWS S3. Um, so I have not done this process before. We're going to go through it uh, from scratch, so bear with me. So um, uh, we need to find the Amazon Web Services tool. So I'm going to drill into aws.amazon.com here. And I think that I might need to log in. I might already be logged in. Let's see. We're going to go to the AWS Management Console. OK, so, oh gosh. CAPTCHA, security check, X, G, F, W, X, W, T. What would you call this? Is this X and that X? I don't know. They're on top of each other. They're not next to each other. OK, so now we're logging into the AWS Console. The services we want to look for is S3. So we're going to just, I usually just command FS3 on this page because it's hard to find. They have so many different storage tools or so many different tools inside of AWS that uh, it can be a little intimidating. All right, now we want to create a new bucket. We're going to say create bucket. I think you can technically do like mirroring also. So bucket name here, this is going to be like record my screen. And I'm based in the West Coast, so I'm just going to pick US West one and copy from an existing. I don't think so. Block all public access. Um, I actually don't know the settings here, so we'll just leave it. Um, we don't need bucket versioning. We don't need any tags. We don't need any encryption. Um, yeah, this is we're just doing like basic stuff for now. And then if we need to, we can come back and update. All right, so we've got this new record my screen bucket. The first thing we need to do is go into our config storage.yaml. So let's go to config uh, storage.yaml. And the um, yeah, so we want to use Amazon so we can actually just uncomment this. And then let's see. So this is expecting that we're using Rails application credentials and passing the access key uh, ID and secret. And then our bucket is called um, record my screen. And we're in US West 1. OK. And so now we need to go update the credentials to add our access key ID and, ac and secret access key. Rails credentials colon edit. This will open up the credentials editor. OK, and conveniently in the template, it has AWS and it uh, already has those um, sort of pre-filled for us. So now we need to get our access key and secret. All right, so I'm going to go into users and create a new user. This is from my IAM settings and the username is going to be record my screen and we're going to give it programmatic access and that's it. So we're going to go to permissions now. And this is going to be in the devs group. We don't have any tags. We're just going to review this programmatic access with an access key. We're going to create the user. All right, so now this, this is going to be the access key ID that we're going to copy and paste into um, this part of our credentials. The next part is to paste our secret access key. So I'm going to say show. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to say hide. And then I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm closing my credentials. Uh, so let's go over here and add everything to our to get. I believe we also need, when we're using S3, I think we also need a gem. Yeah, so we need this AWS SDK Ruby gem. Um, so we're going to add that AWS SDK S3, bundle install. So now I'm going to create a new Heroku app and push up to it. So Heroku apps create record my screen. Let's see if this is taken. Oh, it's apps create. All right, so that worked. And now I'm going to say git push Heroku master. So in order to use the Ruby version that I'm using, I need to set the stack to Heroku 18. So I can do Heroku stack colon set and then Heroku 18. Um, and then I need to try pushing again. Git push Heroku master. 
Okay, excellent. So now we should be able to go directly to recordmyscreen.herokuapp.com and initially something is broken because we need to um, we need to run the migration. So Heroku run rake db migrate. We also need to set our config key up on Heroku. Oh, it's just just uh, config slash master key. Okay, I'm going to blur that out. All right, now if we refresh the page again, we should see something. All right, we've got record my screen. So this is cool. Let's open the terminal and say start. So this should start recording. We're gonna say screen two, share. And we want to allow our microphone for this new domain, recordmyscreen.herokuapp.com. And um, I guess what we want to do is then say stop for the recording and then save. And that should save the recording and we should get back this ID. So now if we go to like slash r slash that ID, um, I would expect to see the recording here. Wow, okay, and where is this saved? So inspect. Um, we just want to make sure this is coming from S3 and not from... Um, okay, so this looks like it's actually being stored locally on Rails, which won't work because Heroku is going to be ephemeral. And so uh, anything that's not like committed to Git is going to get wiped out. So this, this storage is not going to work. So instead of storing it locally like that, we need to just make sure that it's being stored on S3. So let's open up um, production. Dot RB. This is in the environment, and we want to find our storage service. Okay, so this instead of using local for our storage service on production, we want to use Amazon. All right, so that is the change we want to make there. Switch production storage to Amazon, and then we wait again. All right, now it's redeployed. Let's go back to the root and try to make another recording. Say start, pick our screen, share. And now we're recording, change the size of that so we know something happened. Hit stop and then hit save. All right, now we've got another key. I should really make this automatically redirect to slash r slash the key. Um, and this looks like it's still stored locally. So, huh, I am confused. Like, um, if we were to say, uh, let's see, is this just a path to S3 or something? Let's see, curl dash, um, dash V, that thing. And then we want to go to like uh, HTTPS record my screen dot Heroku app dot com. Um, and okay, great. It actually is stored on Amazon. All right, so that is being stored on Amazon. It's just being redirected through active storage. So maybe that was working all along. Okay. Yeah, so you can you can hear the audio and it's uploaded and now we could technically like share this link out. Um, and so, yeah, let's make one little tweak here. so that we don't have to like actually um, manually redirect anymore. Well, let's, let's deconstruct this. Just pull out the key and we'll say window.location.href is equal to slash r uh, slash the key. And that should automatically redirect us and that will make it a little bit easier to use. Um, let's also add a button on the show page to say like make another recording like a um, go back to slash and say like a uh, new recording. All right, so that's it. So we got it. We went through the process of setting up a bucket on S3 and setting up an IAM user so that we had an access key. So we have some access keys for working with S3 and then we just set them in storage.yaml and started using them with Rails. And now that we are deployed to Heroku, as we record our screen and our audio that is being uploaded to 
that's being uploaded to Amazon S3, served from S3, and then is available here. So now we can take screen recordings and share out links um, directly. So um, hopefully this has been useful and interesting. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.